Thank you. I'm going to let Bonnie be a leg model for a moment because we've got a vein finder. It's the vein viewer. And the reason I want to show people Bonnie's veins is first thing I want to show is just her superficial veins. Do you all see these little lines here on Bonnie's leg? That right there is a superficial vein that you're seeing. And sometimes you can travel up and down. Those are the veins where you might end up getting an IV or something like that. These veins that get the blood clots, these deep vein thrombosis areas, those are the deep veins in your leg. And would you go over to the magic wall with me here? We're gonna show people why it's so important never to ignore symptoms that could be a, a DVT. Because these deep veins, not the superficial ones, can form blood clots, particularly if you've been sedentary, you've been on a long plane ride, a long car ride, if there's been trauma to that area. Did you have any of those? I actually, I had three risk factors, and the rule of thumb is if you have three or more, you're at a pretty high risk of getting a blood clot. So my three were, I was traveling like crazy. I was flying three or four times a week doing games. I had a family history that I didn't even know about. And then, uh, particular to women, if you're on any sort of estrogen-based birth mm -hmm. control or you're taking hormone therapy, that puts you at risk. So the three of those combined, I was like a walking blood clot. What happens is we're going to move into the circulatory system. This, pretend this is a deep vein in your leg. This is a valve. Normally, all that blood, every time you contract your calf muscles, your other lower leg muscles, that blood travels back towards your heart. But in some people, much like yourself, certainly those at risk, blood clots can form. If it stays in your leg, it's called an isolated DVT. Still can be serious. But in your case, and this is what we worry about as doctors, that clot can break off and then travel through your body, up to your heart, into your lung, and at that point causes a pulmonary embolism, a blood clot in the lung, can cause death if not diagnosed, if not determined early on that you need to be on therapy. And that's why this is so huge. And it was so shocking because what they found was exactly what you're talking about here. I had a blood clot that was the entire length of my leg from my Achilles all the way up to the top of my leg, traveled through the heart into the lungs and infiltrated both of my lungs. And so an hour later after the test, I had a pulmonologist in my face saying, basically the only reason why you're not dead is because you work out all the time and you're in phenomenal shape and we need to admit you right away because it, it was really dangerous. So I'm glad you got help yeah, that because <laughs> if you don't get this diagnosed, you can't get on the proper blood thinning treatments. And Bonnie, you mentioned it earlier, this is becoming more and more common. Symptoms to watch out for. If you have leg swelling, redness, pain, there's been, let's say there's been no trauma and you can't figure out why, you need to go get it checked out, talk with your doctor. This needs to get diagnosed earlier rather than later so you can get on blood thinning medicines. Yeah, and the good news is that if it's diagnosed, I mean, it, DVT is by and large preventable. And if you have a sense, just get to your doctor and have that conversation. Pregnancy is another risk factor. Pregnancy so pay attention, yeah. long flights, long car rides, stretch those legs. And you can even do little yep. muscle exercises Ankle while you're on circles. the plane. Whatever you can do to get that blood moving.